Continuing with our series on the backyard jiu-jitsu, and we're going through some more head headlock releases here. And I want to emphasize a couple of things that we didn't go through when we went through it the last time to make sure that you understand there's a lot more alternatives for you. When someone's got you in a headlock, you have to be very careful that they don't just start twisting up and down and really shaking and just break your neck, and it causes an awful lot of pain, an awful lot of pain to you. And if they're a good jiu-jitsu fighter or a street fighter, they're going to take you from that headlock and smash your head against a door or a car or or something and they're going to do a lot more damage and so it's important that you immediately start reacting as soon as you feel it. Now one of the things you can do is reach up and grab their fingers of their hand. As you see on my left hand here I'm reaching up and I can grab his fingers. Now he happens to have a gable grip. We see his grip you can see it closer down there on the second picture and that grip means I'm not able to grab the fingers of his back of his hand because he has a gable grip because his fingers the fingers that are on top are pointed the wrong way. So I have a real problem grabbing it and bending it backwards. That's the gable grip. So I want you all to study that grip because if you're ever grabbing someone in the headlock, you want to have a nice grip that makes it very hard for them to grab your fingers. And he also has his thumbs hidden with the gable grip. Because he's got that gable grip, he has his thumbs hidden too. And so that I've not been able to, to grab him and his thumbs are hidden. So it's a double thing here. So an old jiu-jitsu technique that we learned from there is to not pull his fingers but to squeeze his fingers. And in some of my other videos, I'll show you how to do the finger squeeze. So you can squeeze his fingers together instead of pull them. And that's a Japanese jiu-jitsu technique. And when you do the finger squeeze instead of the pull, you can actually get him to let go. The other thing I want you to do is I notice that I'm pushing up on his arm or pulling down on his arm to relieve the pressure. I do not want him to pull, pull, break my neck. I don't want all that great pressure on my head, so I'm going to pull down on the arm. I'm going to pull down. I'm trying to pull down. And what I've done, able to do here, even though I couldn't get his fingers, is I'm able to pull both of his arms down. His arms originally started with it way up high towards the top of his chest.